Masquera say Murezi Mbabuge, welcome to our channel Zoom Confessions and Deep Secrets. Kana karke kutanka kukuya paneno channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Kana ujingu wa garoka subscriber, don't forget to comment and share this video. Nasi Murezi Mbabuge, takigira inyaya ye nine. Ma villages ayo akasungwa Mwere Zimbabwe e, Arunzi akasungwa Shirme kunge akabua The first lady mae auxilia mnangagwa Hapawai adresa Vanu uh, pawatomba Business center Mwere Zimbabwe uh, Ma villages ayo arunzi Hakatangwa mshirme kunge e, Hakatadza kurisiva My items hai distribute kwa Na during uh, mae mnangagwa's Charitable work Mwere Zimbabwe so Zurugunzi wakava charge wa police waka sungwa eh, they were released on bail eh, wachibatsiwa there is Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights mwere Zimbabwe eh, inyaya eh, kaneta mwere Zimbabwe eh, pavakazi nine waka sungwa hapa pano sanganisira nesta chatiwana then poita panashe macheka nzondo then poita winet sitole poita maria choto poita esnat choto poita ellen rujua Mpweta che, mpweta faith chidakwa, mpweta patience mataswa, mpweta Joyce mashingaize, eh, waka chajwa eh, with disorderly disconduct in a public place, mwere Zimbabwe. So waka zori present kwa, eh, nema lawyers from the Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights, mwere Zimbabwe. Yaka bienda, ichi klima ichi ribewe unfairly targeted during a mass arrest mwere Zimbabwe. So, kutuwa kwa Twitter, waka release kwa on bail by the Mutare Magistrate, Mwanzi uh, Priska Manimbi, and they, they are scheduled to reappear in court mswa 30 April, mwere Zimbabwe. And ofunga the Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights waka a statement eh, after wakwa nisa kuburita waka zava mjeri eh, waka buda wakati who rescued these nine women from detention after they were arrested and charged for allegedly booing First Lady Oxidia Mnangagwa during her address at Watsomba Business Center where they reportedly failed to access some freebies which she was doling out as part of her charitable work. The nine women, namely Nesta Chatiwana, aged 41, Panashe Macheka Zondo, aged 19, Winnet Sitole, aged 19, Maria Choto, aged 43, Esnat Choto, aged 33, Ellen Merujua, aged 28, Faith Chidakwa, aged 30 years, Patience Mataswa, aged 35, Joyce Mashingaiza, aged 29, were arrested by police on Wednesday at Watsomba Business Center in Manikalan Province and detained at Mutare Central Police Station before being charged with disorderly conduct in a public place as defined in Section 41B of Criminal Law uh, Codification and Reform Act. In court, prosecutors claimed that the nine women who reside in various villages located near Watsomba Business Center stood up and disrupted Mnangagwa's delivery of her speech by booing, by booing her as a way of showing their disgruntlement for not receiving some groceries and clothes which she was doling out to people. Prosecutor, prosecutors charged that the women who were seated on the ground stood up and started booing the first lady while she was making a closing remarks during her address intending to disrupt her speech and show, and show disgruntlement that they had not received anything from her. The behavior allegedly exhibited that Chatiwana Machekan Zondo, Sitole, Choto, Choto, Rujua, Chidakwa, Mataswa, and Mashingaiza, prosecutors said was unlawful, abusive, insulting to Munangagwa. The nine women who were represented by, by Tatenda Sigauke and David Tandiri of Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights uh, were released on Friday on free bail by Mutare Magistrate Priska Manimbi and will return to court on 30 April. In their defense, Chatuana, Macheka Nzondo, Sitole Choto, Choto, Rujua, Chidakwa, Matasha, and Mashingaiza, who deny the charges, argued that they were just targeted during the dragnet arrest 
after they opted to leave the venue early and during the time when Mnangago was still addressing people and before being dismissed. The alleged booing of Mnangagwa is reminiscent of the yackling of former lady, former first lady Grace Mugabe, who was jeered by some ruling and PF political party youth supporters in November 2017 at White City Stadium in Blawayo, who were then prosecuted for insulting and, under, and undermining the late former president Robert Mugabe's wife. The yackling of the former first lady Agged his husband, who being a president Emerson Nangagwa, who at the time served as his vice president, for instigating for, in, for instigating the jeering of his wife. The Zanu PF political party youths who were represented who were represented by the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights were later set free after prosecutors with true charges of insulting or undermining the former first lady. And uh, those are a statement near the Zimbabwe. Yeah. the Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights of Mbakazi Wachondoa Murkona are up by Pua Moshwa Hikunzi Wakabua the first lady Machipa speech yavo Mure Zimbabwe Tisinga zote mune wano usi Nya ii Mure Zimbabwe Nufunga Zatawa wano chino zanabu itiko zakari Kwa White City Stadium Kwa ma yu tainza Wakabua the former first lady Grace Mugabe Mbaka Sungwa Tsingazot mwenye wano osei Nyaya ii tuzo uzo amurufunga Pamsoro Penya ii Mkoment section Vangwa nubabuda Vachi Saluta This move Vaga tukono wakadza One of my Twitter users Buda achiko achi reply To the Zimbabwe Lawyers for human rights Aga Buda Aka comment So a salute To these brave women of our time. This practice should go on and on and on because these Zano Katakans are busy booing Zimbabweans' lives willy nilly every day because they think they are superhuman. It's women who suffer more. Well done to these great women, real ladies. Another user, Akabuda, Skanzi, uh, oppression, repression, and mindless abuse of power is Walmart of Mnangagwa government where Zimbabwe Tsingazie kutimune wana wasei wangando wa budo wachiri the Zimbabwe lawyers for human rights wakuda ku politicizer nyayi sinabasa wangando they are the agents of the United States propaganda where Zimbabwe Tsingazie kutimunozo wana wasei where Zimbabwe tuzeza morfunga pamsoro penye ii mu comment section